Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats down here at Hazen Union High School in Harvard, Vermont. Lady Cats in action tonight against the Williamstown Blue Devils. Opening tip, controlled by Hazen. Caitlin Davison underneath, doesn't get it to go. Re rebound Williamstown. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522, we support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Art on camera. Try and get some names and numbers matched up as I get my wits about me up here. Williamstown looking to get the shot off here. There's one taken. Rebound, Luther. There's Gillespie. Gets it back to Tessa. Tessa, bounce pass over Alexis Christensen. Broken up by Destiny Campbell. Campbell bringing it up now for the Blue Devils. Lady Cats have been on a tear since the beginning of the season. See if I can flip to my uh, coming in with a record of 11 and 1. They lost their first game up in Enosburg. Have reeled off 11 straight wins now. Williamstown with a record of 5 and 5. Campbell direct in traffic. Wants to go inside. That's Bellevue. Natalie Bellevue, a sophomore. Jump ball called. Williamstown on the inbounds. Going to get it in. Broken up by Christensen. And Christensen gets a hand on it again. Malia Hutchinson. Stepped over the line. Coming in. Davison takes a three, short. Rebound, Destiny Campbell. Thought about taking the three, stops. Dribbles into a trio. There's a shot off by Cadence Tenney. Williamstown, a young teen, only one senior. A lot of juniors and sophomores. Courtney Townsend, bounce pass, another bounce pass. Caitlin got a hand on it. Looking to drive, puts up a short shot off the glass. It's Destiny Campbell. They're gonna call Haley Mitchett on the foul. It's gonna send Campbell to the line with 5.22 left to here. Go here in the first quarter, no score yet. How about a score now, one zip. Off on her second one, rebound Hazen. Christensen pushes up to Davison. Davison back, Alexis takes a three, in and out, rebound Davison. Turnaround off the glass, Caitlin Davison, K -K -K Caitlin. I saw an article in yesterday's Caledonian that for their coverage areas for girls, I believe Caitlin was in first place on scoring average. I want to say with like 20 points a game. Uh, unofficial and off, you know, I glanced at it real quick. I meant to take a picture, I was at work, I was busy and, but, uh, I believe she was at the top of the list, if, I'm, if, my, if my memory recall is correct. Nice cut to the basket right there for Destiny Campbell. Puts Williamstown up 3-2. Tessa underneath, doesn't go. Rebound, Townsend. Gets it back to Campbell again. Campbell, pass inside. Blocked partially by Christensen. It was Cadence Tenney looking to go. 
Samantha Wheatley checks in, and uh, Natalie Bellevue will come out. Wheatley, a freshman. Tall girl for a freshman. Travel called on Cadence Tenney. Here's Caitlin. Over here to Gillespie. Christensen. On the outside. Luther swings it over. Davison. Gonna take a three. Make a three. Kick, 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 Caitlin. Cats up two points. 5 3 your score. Four minutes left to go here in the first. There's Campbell. Dishes to Tenney. Tenney loses her dribble. Picked up by Gillespie. Christensen. There's Tessa, pass over, Gillespie up high, back out to Caitlin. Alexis wide open for a moment. Inside, Mitchell back out. Broken up by Campbell. Campbell gets a layup, five points for the junior, ties the score up 5-5 five -five with 3.20 left to go in the first. Good ball game here at the Den. I have preached this forever. Come watch the girls. Games are every bit as exciting and competitive as the boys. Pass inside, Christensen cut. Dips underneath, puts up a shot. Alexis Christensen, one of our seniors. Puts the Cats up two with 2.50 left in the first. Wheatley gets it to Campbell, stripped. Davison. There's Tessa looking to go inside, nothing there. Caitlin, I mean, uh, that's Alexis getting over to Caitlin. Gillespie from the foul line, rattles it home. Ella Gillespie, four point lead for the Lady Cats, up 9 5. 207 left to go here in the first. Destiny Campbell gets it over to Townsend. Townsend back out. That was Tenney. Cadence Tenney looking inside. Wheatley. Townsend puts up a shot from the foul line, off, rebound, Tessa Luther. Tessa's gonna push it. Tessa, nice move. I don't know where she was going, looking for somebody to cut maybe. There weren't any white jerseys there that I saw at least, I don't know. Could be wrong. Townsend off, rebound Gillespie. Townsend back with her. Townsend goes down hard, back up. Right back up. Christensen, three. Alexis Christensen. Seven point lead now for the Lady Cats. 109 left here in the first. Shot doesn't go. Rebound Campbell. Oh, Campbell ferocious underneath there. Can't get it to go. She's going to get it again. It's tough. Tough play. Gritty, I'll go with. Here's Townsend inside. Puts up a shot off the glass. Off the glass. Courtney Townsend, the junior. Cuts the lead to five. 30 seconds left to go here in the first. Christensen, three again, off. Rebound. Tessa out. Hustles Campbell on that one. Campbell wants a sub, and I don't blame her. She worked hard on that last possession underneath down there. What we got with 24, 33, 21. Courtney Bellevue. Natalie Bellevue. Sierra Martin in for the Blue Devils. We got Caitlin, Tessa, Julie DeGrosse there in, Alexis, and uh, Ella for your Lady Cats.
Pass back out. Malia Hutchinson tries to go inside. Pass back out. Nowhere to go. Julia right there. Less than one second. Let's, time runs out in the first. Couldn't get the shot off. And at the end of one, it is Hazen 12, Williamstown 7. Five-point lead for your Lady Cats. Once again, this is Lance Holt with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived, www.hctv.us. Art on camera tonight. How was the drive down from West Glover, Art? A little slick? No problem, he says. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Dot lnsd.org jump start your future i uh, want to remind everybody the kfc free throw contest will be going on this coming sunday 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 that is uh the 29th of january is this coming sunday if i'm looking at my calendar right which i am uh kfc three free throw contest open to boys and girls ages 9 to 14 uh right here at the uh den Hazen Union Gymnasium, registration starts at 12.30. They'll start shooting at 1. If you need any additional info, contact John Lucier, and he will fill you in on all of it. A lot of fun, the free throw contest is. We've seen, uh, I remember watching Alexis Christensen shoot free throws all day long. In one, I remember watching Isaiah Baker do, uh, do one. Uh, Elliot Kimball, I believe, I remember seeing him. The Big Red Machine. My daughter Lydia did it one year. Uh, just a lot of fun for the kids to come out and uh, shoot some free throws. You can see some darn good free throw shooting at the KC Free Throw Contest. This coming Sunday, 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 January 29th, right here at the Hazen Union Gymnasium. And the best part is it's free. Randy's Coach Randy Lumps is going to take a timeout. Talk things over here with 7.39 left to go in the first half. Um, let's see, I had a fascinating bit of basketball trivia. Uh, Danny Healier, on this day, uh, did I write down the year? I didn't even write down the year. Darn. It was a long time ago. Danny Healier, a 17-year-old senior, uh, was playing, I believe this was in West Virginia, scored 135 points in a 32-point game. Hit 53 of 70 shots from the field, 29 of 41 free throws. He also had 32 rebounds and 7 assists. He had 50 points at halftime, 85 in the second half, 55 points in the last 10 minutes. Uh, Burnville High School in West Virginia. It was a while ago. It was like back in the 40s or 50s or something like that. Amazing stats. And that's not even the record. The record is 138 points. Uh, Jack Taylor has it for Grinnell College. Uh, Division 1 AA or Division 3 or something like that. Uh, 138 points. But imagine 135 points in a game. Campbell loses it. Tessa picks it up. Here's Caitlin. Tessa drops the pass over. Christensen back out to Gillespie. Here's Caitlin. Gillespie inside. Nice pass inside. Julie DeGrosier. Turn around. She's a freshman. Doubles up Williamstown. 14-7. 6.55 left to go in the first half. Sierra Martin with Alexis Christensen on her. Tries to bounce it into uh, Mal Malia Hutchinson. Ball taken away by Hazen. Caitlin has that one taken away by Campbell, but Tessa there to grab it. Christensen off on that free throw. Rebound. Caitlin Davison up off the glass. Doesn't go. Rebound. Uh, Williamstown is going to come down with it as Destin Campbell tries to wrestle it out of one of her own players' hands. There was a Hazen player there, too. Campbell underneath. Foul called on Tessa Luther by referee Scott Chandler. Gracie Engelhard going in now. The Blue Devils. Pass up, shot, short, and uh, going to get a foul. Natalie Bellevue will go to the line. I believe that was on uh, Julia. Bellevue at the line. A sophomore. 
for the Williamstown Blue Devils. Sinks her first free throw. Second free throw in. Two points for the sophomore. Score 14-9. Six minutes left to go in the first half. It's Caitlin looking to go inside to Julia. Nice pass. Turn around. Nothing there. Turn spins back again. Still nothing there. Rebound Williamstown. It was Malia Hutchinson coming down with it. Here's Destiny Campbell once again. Gets it down there. Bellevue. Here comes Campbell up. Puts a shot up, doesn't go, follows her shot. She follows her shots and gets her rebounds extremely well. Tenacious player. Christensen, can she catch it? Alexis is deceptively fast. Tessa, three-pointer, two-pointer. They're going to give her two. Tessa with two. Makes it 16-9 with 5.18 left to go in the first half. Campbell, pass over, turn around. Engelhard, Christensen on her, pass inside. And Coach Switch, Sid Sweet for the Blue Devils wants a timeout with 5.06 left to go in the first half. Hazen up by a score of 16 to 9. Uh, once again, Hazen comes in with a record of 11 and 1. They've been on an 11 game win streak. Williamstown with a record of 5 and 5. I'll also point out, uh, of course, we saw Coach Sid Sweet call in timeout. Assistant coach for the Williamstown Blue Devils is Dickie Ruel, a gentleman I know very well back in the oh, early to mid-90s. I bowled down at Twin City Lanes many years with Dickie, a couple nights a week. Uh, and at that time, man, he was an outstanding bowler, outstanding bowler. We threw a lot of strikes together, a lot of strikes. And a great all-around guy. Knowledge of basketball is impeccable. And just a great guy, Dickie Ruel. I think we were on, I know at least one, maybe two first place teams down there at Twin City during that time. Competition was fantastic. Speaking of competition, Blue Devils make it com competitive with a nice score there by Natalie Bellevue. Makes it 16-11. Pass inside. Julia puts up the shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. That was Hutchinson with the rebound. Campbell. Townsend. Campbell. Drive inside. Strip. Ball comes back out to Townsend. Wide open for the three. That's short was Gracie Engelhard. Engelhard, are you a freshman? Julia's going to come out. Natalie Mitchell goes back in. And Isabel Gowan in. For your Lady Cats. Turn around. Mitchell doesn't go blocked out partially, I believe. I know she got a hand up there. was Natalie Bellevue. Swinging it around. Tessa. It's going to be short. Rebound Engelhard. Gets it over to Campbell. Campbell. Drives, pass over, Bellevue. Pa Bellevue takes it herself, makes it. Six points for the sophomore. Cuts the lead to three. 320 left to go in the first half. Steal, turnover. Campbell, Alexis back. Pulls it down, turn around, throws up the shot up off the glass. Rebound, uh, Hutchinson. This is Townsend. 
Campbell. There's Bellevue. Back out, Engelhardt, short. Hutchinson called on the push by Scott Chandler. And Ella Gillespie comes in. Tessa's going to get a little bit of a break. Two fifty left to go in the first half. Cats up three. Christensen gets it over to Caitlin. Campbell on her. Taken away by Townsend. Townsend's going to pull it down. Campbell. Foul called on Isabel Gowan. And Cadence Tenney is going to come in and Gracie Engel hired out. Blue Devils inbounds underneath their own basket. 2.21 left to go in the first half. Trailing by three here at the Den. Shot made. It was Cadence Tenney. Cuts the lead to one, and Randy wants to talk things over as he's seen his lead sort of get whittled down here slowly here in this second quarter. Score right now, 16-15 Hazen. Trying to think when the next girls. Oh, I got, I got some. I got, I got a note here when the next Den games are. Of course, some of them might be a little mixed up here, but uh, what do I have so far? Tuesday, January 31st. The girl, no, that game got. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. Um, I think there's some Saturday games. There's a Saturday game coming up uh, on the fourth. The girls are going to play. It's a makeup for a game that was postponed from earlier in the season. I want to say, where is my schedule? That's the boys. And everything but what I'm looking here. Yes, Saturday the 4th, uh, Fairfax. The Lady Cats will be hosting Fairfax on Saturday the 4th. Tip off at 11 and 12.30. Then Tuesday the 7th, they go to Northfield. Thursday the 9th, uh, they host Stowe. Saturday the 11th, it's Blue Mountain. And Tuesday the 14th will be the last home game of the season against Milton, which of course will be senior night. The Saturday games, it'll be John Lucia doing the call for you. I hopefully will be here for all the games through the week. Christensen off on that one. Boys uh, got some games coming up as well. Friday the 10th, Wednesday the 15th, Montpelier and Lamoille. That Friday the 10th game against Montpelier is going to be huge. Wednesday the 15th against Lamoille. Then they close out their season. Uh, then they go on the road at Lake Region at Williamstown on the 17th and 20th of February. Close it out on uh, Thursday, February 23rd right here at home against Randolph. So we got some games left to go here at the Den. And I believe they're, they have a makeup game now, too, on Monday, the 13th of February against Thetford, the game that was postponed from last night. Townsend off on that one. Rebound, Tessa. Cats looking to get some points. Get that lead built back up. There's Alexis. Christensen inside. Gillespie open for a moment. Nice move inside. Gillespie couldn't get the turn on. Haley Mitchell right there, though. Hailstorm, her first points of the night. Pads the lead back up to three. 55 seconds left. Shannon defense goes up by the student section over there. Boys team out in full force tonight. Rooting on there, Lady Cats. Tenney. This is, uh, I think that was Bellevue getting it back out to Townsend. Townsend drives, puts up a shot. Doesn't go. Rebound Tessa. Tessa's been a bit of a rebounding machine here in the first half. 30 seconds left. Plenty of time. Caitlin. Over to Alexis Christensen. 
Back outside. Tessa inside, nice cut. Ella Gillespie can't get that one to go though. Rebound by Bellevue. This is Campbell. Chance to potentially tie it with a three with 10 seconds left here in the first half. She's gonna drive, put up the two, doesn't go. Rebound. Tessa was there for the rebound. We got a whistle though. Referee Scott Chandler with his uh, calls the foul on Tenney. And we got 7.5. Seconds left, so time a little bit of the essence here. Caitlin brings it up, spins it back out. Christensen's going to take a three off the back of the rim as time expires for the first half. And at the end of the first half, it is your Hazy Union Lady Cats up by a score of 18 to 15 against the Williamstown Blue Devils. Good ball game here tonight from the Den. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, we support Hayes Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Art on camera, we'll see you at the start of the second half. All right, second half action about to get underway here at the Wildcats Den at Hazen Union High School. It is your Hazen Union Lady Cats. Hosting the Williamstown Blue Devils tonight. Cats up by a score of 18 to 15. Scoring for your Lady Cats, Tessa Luther with two. Alexis Christensen with five. Caitlin Davison with five. Julie DeGrosier with two. Ella Gillespie with two. Haley Mitchell with two. All unofficial, of course. And for the Williamstown Blue Devils, it was Destiny Campbell with five. Cadence Tenney with two. Natalie Bellevue with six. And Courtney Townsend with two. Unofficial, as unofficial as you can get. Sometimes I miss numbers and stuff, but I, I do my best. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera tonight. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522 and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. And Scott Chandler rings up Williamstown for the travel. Kick, 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 Caitlin Davison. Send it over to Ella inside. Haley Mitchell. Drop. Hailstorm. Opens up the scoring, increases that lead to five now. Cats come in with a record of 11 or one. They haven't lost since their opening night up in Enosburg, where they lost by a score of 50 to 41, but they have beaten their next 11 opponents. Williamstown in with a record of five and five. Inside. Shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. Caitlin. Alexis. Tessa takes a long three. Off the back of the rim. Rebound. Courtney Townsend. Take it away. Caitlin Davison. Blocked out by Townsend. Nice hustle by Townsend to get back there on D. And here's Samantha Wheatley coming in, and Courtney Townsend going to come out. <laughs> Nothing going. Williams down. Bellevue back. Travel. And I think with number 11 for Williamstown, I don't know if her last name is Campbell or Campbell, so I'm just going to go with Destiny. I know I'll get that right. And Christensen called for the travel. Destiny takes a shot off the rim. Rebound Christensen. Christensen threads a pass through everybody to Caitlin. 
Spins it back out. Gillespie over Tessa. Here's Christensen open. She'll take a three from there. Off the rim. Rebound. One off Williamstown. I believe Hutchinson was in there. Trying to get it. Christensen. Into Davison. There's Ella. Drops it over. Alexis. Pass back. Caitlin's going to take a three. Make a three. Caitlin Davison. And Coach said Sweet wants a timeout. I did a little research on that 135-point uh, game. It was Danny Healer. It was on this day in 1960 it happened. Burnsville High School in West Virginia was playing Wyden High School. Um, now, bear in mind, this is before the three-point shot. These are all two-pointers. 53 of 70 from the field, 29 of 41 from the free throw line. 50 points at halftime, 85 in the second half, 55 points in the last 10 minutes. Ironic part, his, <laughs> neither of his parents were at the game that night. His mother hardly ever missed a game. But apparently a couple weeks prior, the team had played the same high school and beat him re relatively with ease, and Healer had only played a quarter. So his, ma, his father wasn't feeling well, so he stayed home, and his mother stayed home to be with his dad, and they missed his 135-point game. And that's not the record either. record is 138, uh, done by Jack Taylor for Grinnell College. But still, for a 17-year-old high school player, 1960, no three-point shot, 135, 135. And once again, 29 of 41 from the free throw line. So he was obviously in practice in his free throws. I mean, that beats Will Chamberlain, 100 points. Wilt only had 100 for the NBA. And Wilt was Wilt. Destiny drops it back. Tenny. Back to Destiny. Destiny. Wants to put up a shot. Can't. Alexis is right there. Caitlin gets a steal. And back to make the defense, of course, is Destiny. Number 11. Didn't want to give her the easy bucket. 5.03 left to go in the third. Cats up 23-15. Haley wide open underneath. Can't get it uh, back. Davison. And set it back up again. Pass over. Tessa wants to drive. And traveled. Natalie Bellevue back there on defense. It's also Eddie Van Halen's birthday. Lost him. I can't believe it. This fall will be three years that we lost Eddie Van Halen. But uh, would have been 68, I believe, this year. The late, great Eddie Van Halen. Destiny from the foul line. Nowhere to go. Back out. Tenney over Bellevue. Underneath. Threads a pass underneath Hutchinson. Nice move by Hutchinson. Couldn't get it to drop, though. Hutchinson back again. Blocked out. Davison. Blue Devils with some chances. Cats with the D on that one. Four minutes left. 23-15. Your score still inside. Haley, turnaround off the glass. Hailstorm. Six points overall. Four points in the second half for the senior, Haley Mitchett. Back up to a 10-point lead now. Bellevue, Wheatley, and Gillespie ties her up. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Lady Cats. As Courtney Bellevue, a freshman, checks in. Wheatley comes out. Davison, they're out, Christensen.
Christensen, three off the rim. Rebound, Hutchinson. His destiny. Tenney. And we're going to get a foul call. On Alexis Christensen, her first. 309 left to go in the third. It's going to send Cadence Tenney to the line. Speaking of free throws, don't forget the free throw contest, the KSC free throw contest coming up this coming Sunday, 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 January 29th, right here at the Den. Registration starts at 1230. Shooting starts at 1. Open to boys and girls ages 9 to 14. Any additional info, contact John Lucia. Christensen stops and drops. Many, many a Hazen player has taken part in the Knights of Columbus free throw contest. Julia DeGrozier got a hand on that one, not to pass away, but hanging on to it is Courtney Bellevue. And after the dust is cleared, it will be Williamstown inbounding underneath their own baskets. Doesn't go, rebound Gillespie. It's Tessa. Pass over, Christensen. That went off the rim, rebound Destiny. Destiny wants to go coast to coast. Nice turnaround, doesn't go. Rebound, Hazen. Here's Christensen, she's gonna slow it down. Let everybody catch up, set it up. Burn some clock, 2.20 left to go here in the third. Cats up 27-15. Here's Tessa, doesn't go, rebound, Courtney Bellevue. Destiny, kind of let her walk in there. That was a foul. Kind of gave her an open lane there and she took it. Foul called on Ella Gillespie and that will send Destiny to the line. Sinks her first one. Six points now for the junior. Let uh, Sierra Martin and Courtney Townsend back in. Destiny sinks them both. Seven points, makes it a 10 point lead for your Lady Cats, 27 17. 150 left to go here in the third. Called Destiny, uh, foul on that one. Doesn't like the call. Caitlin driving in against four blue jerseys. Alexis will take it. Rebound Townsend. Destiny drops it to Bellevue. Inside, catch, break up the pass. Julie DeGrosser over to Caitlin. Caitlin dips underneath. Kick, 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 Caitlin. 10 points for the junior tonight. A 12 point Hazen lead with one minute left to go here in the third. Martin takes a three, off the rim, doesn't go, rebound. Underneath. Destiny draws the foul. Ella, her second. 50.8 seconds left to go in the third. Off on the first free throw.
Good on her second. Eight points for the junior. 46 seconds left to go here in the third. Cats up by a score of 29 to 18. Caitlin turnaround from uh, the foul line. Doesn't go rebound, Sierra Martin. See what Destiny does with 30 seconds left to go here in the third. Martin drop pass. Courtney Bellevue back out to Martin. Whips it over to Townsend. Townsend's got Destiny open. Thought about taking the three. Doesn't go. Goes back to Townsend. Townsend goes inside. Nice pass. Bellevue wide open. Can't make the hoop, though. But rebound underneath and up and in is Natalie Bellevue. And they're going to have to hurry. This one second left. Christensen takes a long three that doesn't go. And at the end of three, 29-20. Uh, so still a good game here from the den at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont, between your Hazen Union Lady Cats and the Williamstown Blue Devils. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera tonight, sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. So we'll line things up here and see what happens in the fourth. See if the Cats continue on their winning ways. Once again, they come in with a record of 11 and 1, 11 straight wins. Williamstown with a record of 5 and 5. Other notable birthdays today. Wayne Gretzky, the great one. It's his birthday today, along with Bob Euchre. I'll have to throw in a just a bit outside. In honor of Bob Euchre. And uh, Tom Kiefer's birthday, lead singer for Cinderella. He's now a solo artist. I had the pleasure of interviewing him. Uh, a number of years ago, great guy and a great sports fan. Grew up in uh, Philly, big time Flyers and Eagles fan. Remember, he was there for the heyday of the Broad Street Bullies. We talked about that for a little bit. Really, really cool guy, Tom Kiefer of Cinderella. Tessa. Not about taking it. Caitlin drives in against three jerseys. Draws the foul. Against three blue jerseys, that is. Foul called on Sierra Martin. That's uh, referee Jason Kennedy with the call. Back out, Tessa. Drop pass over, here's Ella. Over to Caitlin. Gillespie takes it, makes it. The only shot you don't take is the one you don't, the only shot you don't make is the one you don't take. 11 point lead. Lady Cats. 7.25 left to go in your ball game. Courtney Townsend. Drops it. In the end, Cats. Foul called on Martin. And in the end, Wildcats will get the ball. 7.15 left to go in your ball game. Cats up 31-20. Dipping inside, taking away. Wildcats get it back. Once again, Williamstown comes in, a bit of a young team, only one senior. A lot of, uh, you know, some freshmen, some sophomores, and juniors that look pretty solid. I think give these girls uh, a little more uh, experience. He's going to have a pretty formidable team down there. Gillespie, second effort, gets it. Drop inside. Strong of the hoop, Natalie Bellevue. I mean, there she's a sophomore. Two more years to play like that, and she'll be okay. Underneath, wide open. Julie DeGosier can't convert. She's wide open, wide open. 
And Coach Sweet wants a timeout with the Hazen Union Lady Cats leading his Williamstown Blue Devils by a score of 33 to 22. What else do I have here today? It's National Peanut Brittle Day. I like peanut brittle. I like peanut brittle. And it's uh, also National Clashing Clothes Day. I celebrate that just about every day. <laughs> Clashing Clothes Day. And it was on this day in 1979, the Dukes of Hazard premiered. <laughs> Bo and Luke Duke, Uncle Jesse, Boss Hog, Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, and of course, Daisy Duke. And Hazen creates a turnover right there off the inbounds. Tess up there playing tough. Six minutes left to go in the game. Cats up 33-22. Hailstorm wide open underneath. Haley is so awesome underneath the hoop. Makes it look pretty easy. Turnover. Malia Hutchinson checks in. Courtney Townsend comes out. It's Christensen to Gillespie. Tessa over to Alexis. 35-22 is your score. 5.30 left to go in your ball game. Been all cats here in the fourth. Long shots, three pointer, kick, 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 Caitlin. Her third three pointer of the night. 13 points for the junior. Engelhard gets it over here. Destiny drive. Tries to put up the left-hander. Foul called. I believe that's going to be on Haley, maybe. I'm no, going to call it on Tessa. Destiny will shoot two. In and out on the first one. Cadence Tenney in. Gracie Engelhard out for the Blue Devils. Paige Davis in for the Blue Devils as well as Destiny hits her second free throw. Nine points tonight for Destiny. Five of them from the free throw line. Hit your free throws. She is a good free throw shooter. I wonder if she ever did the Knights of Columbus free throw contest. Davis, pass over. Tenney gets it back to Destiny. Destiny spin, turn, puts up the shot, doesn't go, follows it up beautifully though. 11 points. Six from the field, five from the free throw line for the junior. Three forty-five left to go in the game. Thirty-eight twenty-five. Your score. Back inside. Haley couldn't quite handle the pass. Once again, I believe the next home game is going to be your Lady Cats hosting Fairfax on the 4th of February. 
So John Lucia will have the call for you on that one. And we got to travel on that one. Travel called. And Coach Sid Sweet wants another timeout. That call, of course, was made by referee Jason Kennedy. Scott Chandler over on the other side, the taller of the two refs tonight, is Chandler. 302 left to go in your ball game. Cats up by a score of 38 to 25. So along this way, once again, they have they lost to Enosburg back, <laughs> well, seems like a, a lifetime ago. It was on Friday, December 9th, by a score of 50 to 41. Along the way, they have beat Danville, Oxbow, Richford, Virgins at home, went to Fairfax and won, Stowen won, Milton and won, beat Winooski at home, played at Richford, at Danville, and at Winooski, and won all those as well. So seven road games. <laughs> Am I seeing five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, six, six road games that they've won and uh, five at home. So. Next game will be Thursday, February 2nd at Blue Mountain for your Lady Cats. And once again, they're here at home on Saturday the 4th against Fairfax. Tip-off for those games. Uh, uh, for the Fairfax game, uh, JV's at 11, Varsity's at 12.30. Matinee games, we'll call it on Saturday the 4th. Come out and support your Lady Cats. I mean, they're going to... They're on just as good of a run as the uh, as the boys right now. The boys have lost one game as well. Two thirty left to go in the game. I think we're burning clock here. Flips it out, Haley. Over to Alexis. Here's Ella, puts up shot, Gillespie. Eight points for Ella Gillespie Sr. Once again, she's one of the girls that came down uh, from uh, Craftsbury to play with the Lady Cats this year. Been exciting to watch her. And Coach Sid Sweet wants another timeout to talk things over once again with 158 left to go in the ball game. And uh, Cats up 40 to 25. So I'm going to say the Cats are going to push their record to 12 and 1. Um, and uh, once again, we started well through the first half. It was pretty good even through the third. It was kind of close at times, but uh, it's been all Lady Cats here in the fourth. And we'll hit this one one more time. Once again, the KFC free throw contest. This coming Sunday, 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 January 29th, right here at the Den. Registration starts at 12.30. She's going to start shooting free throws at 1. It's open to boys and girls ages 9 to 14. It's a lot of fun. No cost. It's free. Uh, and let's see. Let's read our sponsors once again. Uh, tonight's sponsors, we want to thank them. We could not be us without them, our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Fantastic programs they have going down there at the Tech Center at Memorial High School. Art on camera tonight. We'll wish the Williamstown Blue Devils safe travels back down to Williamstown. Roads were a tiny bit slick coming in tonight from the storm. It's still sort of winding down. Winding this game down. Davison with a steal. And no shot. They're going to call a foul on Bellevue on the floor. She kind of banged her there at the end. Didn't want to give her the easy bucket. Davison once again with 13 points on the night so far. Tessa. Cut underneath. Destiny right there with her. Cuts her back out. Davidson, she's going to dribble back out. They're going to hold the ball. Wind it down here.
Tessa. No backcourt. It was hit by uh, Bellevue. Or Tenney, I'm sorry, with Tennessee. Ten Tenney is what I'm trying to say. Cadence Tenney knocked that one in. Haley can't quite handle the pass, so with 1.22 left to go in the ballgame, Williamstown will get a chance to make a hoop here. Tessa with two tonight. Alexis with uh, seven. Caitlin has the uh, 14, did I say? Three, six, nine, or 13, 13. Julia DeGrosier with two. Ella Gillespie with eight. Haley Mitchell with eight. All incredibly unofficial. And we're going to foul. Foul called on Haley. For Williamstown, Courtney Townsend with two. Natalie Bellevue with two, four, six, eight, ten. Cadence Tenney with two. And Destiny Campbell with two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again, incredibly unofficial. One minute left to go in your ballgame. And Davidson's going to come up with the steal, and she's going to back it on down out. And I don't believe we're even going to probably get a shot unless they foul. Gracie Engelhard called on the foul. Sierra Martin's going to come in. Engelhard's going to come out. There's Christensen. Christensen takes a shot, uh, draws a foul. She'll go to the line. Shooting two. Foul called on Malia Hutchinson. Christensen off on her first free throw. I remember seeing Alexis in the, in the Knights of Columbus free throw contest. Sink a bunch of them. Good free throw shooter. Not on that one, <laughs> but I've seen her sink many. Alexis, report to the gym tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. You will not leave until you've hit 100 in a row. Bodies on the floor. Everybody's going to get up in the end, though, and be okay. And we're going to try and run this last 17.2 seconds off. And Courtney Townsend will check back in. And Malia Hutchinson will come out. A little bit banged up on that exchange. There's a shot, does it go, rebound. Williamstown, Townsend wants to put up a shot. Courtney Townsend makes it four points for her tonight and it's gonna be a 40 to 27 win for your Hazen Union Lady Cats against the Williamstown Blue Devils to push their record to 12 and one. Williamstown will drop to five and six. Good ball game once again. It's going to be a little bit of a break. Once again, we won't be back until uh, Saturday, February 4th, when it'll be your Hazen Union Lady Cats taking on the Blue Mountain Bucks, I believe is their nickname. Lance Hall with the call. Once again, art on camera. We'll see you next time. Until then, live every moment. Love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.